If you're just starting your sticker business or if you're someone who's interested in making stickers, it can be really overwhelming. There's so many different types of sticker papers out there. So for today, let's talk about the two main sticker papers that are used the most, which are standard sticker paper and vinyl sticker paper and two terms that are really, really important, which are weatherproof and waterproof. Standard sticker paper is like your standard printing paper. It's thin, it can tear pretty easily if you're not careful with it. It's also not waterproof, so if you're using this, make sure whatever you're designing is for dry surfaces. People like to use this to make stickers for journals, agendas, planners, and so on. And it's especially good for stickers that you can write on, such as to-do lists or memos. This option is great if you want to keep the paper-like look and feel throughout your journal and planner. Something to keep in mind though is that this sticker paper is hard to peel, so I wouldn't recommend it for making die cut stickers. You can make it an easy peel sticker by carefully cutting a slit on the back with an X-Acto knife or creating an easy peel tab using your sticker cutter. I found that it's pretty difficult to make the slit on the back due to how thin this sticker paper usually is and I've accidentally cut into the sticker before or I've left a dent trying to use this method. Vinyl sticker paper is perfect for die cut stickers and you could definitely use it to make sticker sheets as well. Colors print nicely on it and not only that, you'll find that your artwork looks sharp on it. It's easier to peel off than standard sticker paper and it is the perfect base for making waterproof stickers. There are two types of vinyl sticker paper, which are glossy and matte. I have found that matte vinyl makes my artwork more saturated, while glossy vinyl made my artwork look brighter. Both are great, so what you get will just depend on your preference. Now let's talk about some very important sticker terms, such as weatherproof and waterproof. What are the differences and what do they mean? When you purchase sticker paper on Amazon, a lot of the time you see that the description states that it's waterproof, but suggests that you laminate it for extra durability. If you just print and cut on vinyl sticker paper without adding extra protection, the type of sticker you're offering is a weatherproof sticker. This means that it's water resistant, but not waterproof. Water resistant means that your design won't disappear when water gets on it and the sticker paper won't start peeling off, but you'll notice changes such as your ink mixing with each other and the artwork getting a little darker. Weatherproof stickers can also fade over time and start yellowing if there's a lot of sun exposure. So how do you make a waterproof sticker? There's several ways you can go about this. The first way is to use some type of spray protectant. There's a lot of them out there, such as sprays to seal your design and sprays that will make your stickers UV resistant. However, I find that I don't like this method due to it mixing the inks on my designs. This problem may differ from person to person though, depending on what type of printer and ink you're using. The most common method to waterproofing a sticker is self-laminating with clear adhesive sheets. A lot of people use a gift card or a flat tool covered with felt to help smooth the laminate over the sticker paper as they're applying it. Another way is by using a laminator with a cold setting. I've read that this method is easier and helps you to produce less bubbles. Since you don't have to worry as much about smoothing the laminate, since the laminator will take care of that for you. I personally haven't tried this myself, so I can't tell you for sure. However, I've seen a lot of people do it in studio vlogs and it seems to be a pretty good method. So like with anything new, it'll take some trial and error and once you figure it out, you're good to go. I wouldn't suggest using laminating pouches with a laminator to waterproof your stickers. I tried this method before and I found that it makes the stickers too thick and stiff. Not only that, I also didn't like how the sticker felt. When you place this type of sticker on a surface like a water bottle, you'll find that your sticker might slowly start peeling itself upwards after a while. 
This is caused by the sticker losing its flexibility and the laminate pulling on it. Using laminating pouches could possibly work with smaller sized stickers, but for standard die cut stickers, which are around 3 inches, I wouldn't recommend this method. If you still want to try this method, use glossy vinyl sticker paper. The laminating pouch will adhere to the glossiness a lot better. Keep in mind that you shouldn't put a weatherproof or waterproof sticker on something that would go into the dishwasher. The dishwasher could possibly ruin the design and it would definitely mess up some part of the stickiness on the back of your stickers. So make sure you hand wash only to preserve them. I hope that this video was helpful even though it only covered some basics. I know that when I first started my sticker shop, this type of information would have been super valuable and it would have also saved me a lot of time, headaches, and stress. If there's anything else you'd like to know when it comes to sticker making, comment down below and I'll answer it the best that I can. Or if there's many of the same questions, I could try making another video in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!